The Tevis Cup Virtual Ride 2023 has reached its halfway point, with participants from all around the world engaged in this unique and exciting event. It commenced on Wednesday, April 19th, and will conclude after 100 days on Sunday, July 30th, under the Tevis moon. I want to take this time to review some exciting statistics about the ride this year and highlight some of the riding and non-riding participants who have already completed the 100 miles. To date, 904 people have signed up for the event and entries will be taken until early July. There are 790 in the riding division and 114 in the non-riding division. 132 amazing riders and 34 amazing non-riders who are walking, jogging, running, hiking, swimming, or any other non-motorized method have already completed the 100 miles. This is my straight Egyptian Arabian mare Pippa. We are in dressage training and entered in our first Tevis Cup virtual ride. We have a little ways to go. We're at 55 miles, but I have confidence we will make it. This is Heather and she finished the 100 miles on Napoleon. She calls him her little go machine. Napoleon is an 11 year old Arabian gelding and this is Heather's fourth year competing in the virtual ride, which means she has competed in it every single year since it started in 2020. Amanda finished the 100 miles in just 28 hours walking with her handsome Australian shepherds, Bomber and Apache. She said they were up and out of the house most weekdays at 4.30 in the morning. They walked at least five days a week, kept a blazing pace to finish the 100 in 28 hours. Apache is the red and Bomber is the black and I would love to meet this team. This is Ashley on her purebred Arabian Caspian. Ashley lives in Australia and she used the Tevis Cup virtual ride as conditioning and preparation for her entry into the Tom Quilty Gold Cup. This is Australia's version of the Tevis Cup. It's coming up in the beginning of July. It's one rider, one horse, one day, 100 miles. She and Caspian are entered and I can't wait to hear how they do. This is Susan who was signed up in the non-riding division and she completed the 100 miles in a flash with her pack of stunning dogs. She has her four-year-old Hamish and then Witch Hazel is her baby girl at three and a half years old and her recently retired service dog Sue Dragon who is the lead dog and sets the pace. What a wonderful accomplishment. Congratulations to all of these finishers and to all of the participants who are finishing every day and to those who are still on course. I'm linking up above a video on the Tevis Cup virtual ride for more information and links for information. Please check that out and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.